I'm on the Archie with Jeff Smith. We're going to try and find out what Jeff's secrets are, how he practices, how his grip looks, how he throws, and a little bit about him. So let's see what we find out. Hi, Jeff. Welcome. How's uh, you're in the UK for a while? So how's that been during COVID? Yeah, it's it's been great. The uh, boys have been keep me busy. I've uh, been out to some dog races, out practicing quite a bit, and uh, seen a lot of hotel rooms. So other than that, it's been going all right, really. Lots of practice. Okay, good. So practice good for you. You've got the uh, Pro Tour next week? Yep, another series uh, and a couple of qualifiers for the Euro Tours. So looking forward to uh, getting back on the board. And how has the form been over over the sort of last couple of weeks? Uh, best way I could say is probably somewhat consistent. Uh, I've played some good players and beaten some good players in the last little bit and just want to keep carrying on what I'm doing. So, any Anything in your game you're working on right now that, that's been different? Uh, biggest thing for me right now is uh, I got to find a little bit more scoring power, I think. And uh, with the new uh, windmill darts, they're, it's doing the trick for me. But uh, like I said, my finishing's always been there. And if I can just get that power scoring up just a bit more, then it's going to put me in better position to win more legs. So you're finding that on the PDC tour, there's a real, that, there's, like the first serve, there's a big powerful score early on. Yeah, it's the fir first nine darts are, are is harder than any place in the world, obviously. And uh, if, if you can get yourself to a finish from that point, then you're going to have a chance to win. So if, you, if you're open, opening with 59s and 58s, you get eaten alive in the PDC. So, so you're looking for that sort of 409 darts kind of total or something around that, are you? Yeah, it's, I, I aim, my goal is to be on a 12 darter every leg. So if I have a chance, of whether it be 170, 161, then I, I'm going to be competitive if, if I'm hitting that range. And are you feeling that that's happening more often now? You're getting used to that kind of pressure? Yeah, it's, you're, you're, you have nowhere to run in the PDC. You're, you're going to get found out if you're not playing well. And it's just a matter of that. If, if you're not, not performing well enough, then you're going to lose 6-1, 6-2. So. And it's a long fly home for you, isn't it? So. Yeah, I've, I've definitely put more miles on, I think, than any player right now. But uh, I'm enjoying it, definitely. So uh, in terms of your technique and you know the, your approach to the game, obviously... We've seen your, your name was made at Lakeside over here with the guys at three years, final against Scott Waite, semi-final. Um, have you changed anything in your technique or has it stayed very much the same throughout the decades? Yeah, I, I've pretty much thrown exactly the same way for the last probably 20 years. It's just a more of a putting yourself in these tougher positions and then learning how to handle it more than anything. And have you, have you found that, that sticking with, because you're not a great equipment changer, are you? You've stuck with the same darts and the same, same technique, clearly. So do you find that the more things then you can keep the same, the better it, that is for you then? Yeah, exactly that. I, I'll toy around with the grip every once in a while, but my darts are pretty well the same. Have been my whole career. I use a nice slim barrel, straight and uh, center balance. 21 gram? 21 gram, these ones are. Lee, Lee's made these for me. But uh, yeah, it's... It's con darts or consistency is everything, especially in the PDC. Yeah, and so how does a practice? What does what does a practice session look like for you when you're back at home? Yeah, it's I, I actually practice more at work than I do at home. Oh, do you? You've got a board at home, have you? I've got a board, board at work. Yeah, we've actually got uh, four boards at work and two soft tip machines. So uh, I've, I'm fortunate enough to have a boss that actually loves the game. And uh, every day at four o'clock, normally we work till five. Every day at four, he's looking for uh, practice partners. So yeah, he's, he's benefited by, uh, by all means, but so have I. All right, so that's good. So you're getting around about an hour a day in then of, of, of actual match practice then, really? Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, it, when Cal first started out, he was a pretty entry-level player. And uh, he's now an A player. So he's he's benefited, but it's it's also forcing me to play darts as well. So it's been good. So you so for you then playing yourself back into form through match darts is 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 what it takes for you rather than stood there for hour and end play, just practicing. Yeah, and proofs in the pudding because uh, COVID in Canada it's pretty well shut all the bars down. So there's no uh, nowhere to practice other than like I said, if I didn't have that opportunity at work, I, I could be miles behind right now. Yeah, and how when you're when you're stood there and you're holding the dart where. Where's the grip for you? Are you? Do you hold it at the back or are you in the middle or? Yeah, it's, I, uh, I always put my finger right on the uh, fingernail here. That sets in. Oh, so then, you use that as a guide off the fingernail. Right, I yeah. see. And then the dart just rests comfortably. I don't squeeze, I just hold it. 
and then grip pressure out of 10 what would you say maybe two two that light very light it just just said seriously yeah you see i would my god two that's quite barely barely holding it serious yeah. quick hurry up i want to try it grip pressure two that is impressive do you think that's a, do you think that's something that's um unique to you or do you think that's for all top players uh, it's it's what I've been doing. It's it's all about the the smooth release, and that's the dart comes out of my hand easy. And uh, like I said, you just need need a couple of cuts so that your dart's not going to slip, obviously. But I, I just held that at grip two, and that that sort of that's incredible. Just feels like that you can feel the weight of the dart. It's 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 really strange. You're actually letting the, the dart do the work. Is that something you've worked on, or is it just how you play? I've, I've, since day one, I've, I, I, I say try, try to take the junk out of your throw. So the more simplified you have, or more simplified the approach, less can go wrong. Well, it certainly, it certainly worked for you. I, I think it's something we'll have to have a, look, a bit, uh, a deeper look at. So, you know, so the schedule now you've got, obviously building yourself back up Pro Tour, you've got to get yourself back in the TV slots. Um, what what have you what are you targeting as your next sort of major event? Is there one you can target? Would it be the Worlds or? Yeah, it's the long shot is match play. It's a, it's it's a probably a few thousand pound off for me right now. But uh, it's Players Championship Finals. I know I'm in the World Cup again this year, World Championship. So pretty uh, pretty good opportunity to to rise up the rankings and continue on with the tour card. And who's likely to partner you in the World Cup? It's, uh, it can be one of two players. Uh, it's going to be either Matt Campbell, who I played with last year, who was fantastic, and also Jim Long, who played the year before with Dawson. And they both played extremely well. So either way, I'm going to be. Yeah, Matt, Matt was, he got through to the Worlds this year, didn't he? Yeah, he had a, he had a heck of a first round game. Uh, I think he played, he went every leg, I believe, with Scott Waits. Uh, and lost three two, but it shows that the guy can actually play. So you kind of believe Canada if you if you get into that World Cup bit of rhythm, you you could be contenders then, really. Yeah, it's, I think we we uh, we played Northern Ireland the first round last year, and uh, after that first round defeat of them, both of us thought we could have won it that year or last year. So it'd be nice to play again with Matt, but uh, it all comes down to whoever uh, the CDC sends for my partner. So yeah. Well, Jeff, you've been a long-term favourite of ours all the time you've been at Lakeside. And I uh, just want to say thanks, Jeff, for sharing some insights. And good luck next week. Yeah, my pleasure.